You have to take things from other people. And by taking it, I'm not saying go rob a bank. I'm not saying that. I'm saying com completely the opposite. You can be a philanthropist. I'm taking money from everyone inside of HU, but I'm changing their lives. It's a good thing. You can take money in a positive way. Most people don't look at, the li look at life that way. And when you look at life that way, you need to start identifying. One of the things we teach inside of HU is to identify every single time your money is taken from you. So I say this to people. I say for the next two weeks, every time you spend money, even if it's a pound, write down how they got it from you. And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, all right, cool. You're walking down the street. You're going to Starbucks. You buy a coffee. Why did they take your money? Well, I wanted coffee. Yeah, but how? Okay, you wanted coffee, right? Cool. Did you only want a coffee because you saw Starbucks or did you want a coffee beforehand? Why did you want their coffee and not another coffee? Did you buy a cake as well? Why did you buy a cake? All right, cool. So now you identified how they took your money. Then realize how they could have took more of your money. You bought a cake, but you didn't buy a sandwich. Why? The sandwiches weren't on display or they looked cold or they looked rubbish. Or the woman who was serving me was old and ugly. Maybe she was a young cutie and talked to me about bologna sandwiches or bought one, right? So you need to start identifying how your money is taken from you. Mm. Because once you identify how your money is taken from you, you can start to actually intelligently think about how you can take money from other people. If I had to open a, uh, a coffee shop, if, if I sit in a coffee shop, right? If I sit in Starbucks, the whole time I'm in there, not only am I thinking about how they got the money from me and how much I spent, I'm thinking about how I could outcompete them. I'd sit there and go, okay, cool. I'm in Starbucks. I spent five pounds, 68. I got a latte and I got a donut and I'm sitting here. And that business place, that, that, that commercial property right across the street is available for lease. How could I outcompete this coffee shop, which just took my money? What's the profit margin on this five pound, 68? How much did this cost them? The coffee, pennies. Donut, 30p maybe, mm. right? How much is the staff? They pay the staff minimum wage, eight pound an hour. So I've already paid half. I've already paid 30 minutes work from that brokey, the wages. Yes. She's there for another 30 minutes for free, right? How much is the rent? How much is the business rates? If I had to open up there, how would I attract people to come into my shop as opposed to their shop? They got a big brand name. I'm brand new. Okay, well, the bitch working here is ugly. My one's going to be hot. Boom, that's the beginning. Next thing, do they have any signage outside? No, I'm going to try and put some signage outside. Do they have parking? No, I need parking. But you need to start thinking about how you can convince people to give you their money as opposed to giving it to the places they already give it. Different analytics. And, and, and once you do that, people say, I can't think of how to make money. If you start doing that for a year and just keep a notepad, you'll have a 100 ideas of how to make money. You'll sit there and go, there's a place here that's doing this and we could do it better this way. This place online is doing this, we can do it better this way. And then, and then to get them all done, what do you need? Network. You need people. It's all about people. Then you need to either go in the war room if you want to join or have your people around you and say, okay, we can make money with this. Who's going to do it? Who's not lazy? Who's going to up at 4am tomorrow? Mm. Boom. Let's get it done. So there's unlimited ways to make money, but most people go through life and their money is taken from them and they don't even identify how it got, how they got tricked out of it. They're just happy did, with it. Yeah. They just have, how did I spend 16 grand in Cirque last night? Oh, because my ass got drunk. How'd they get me drunk? Well, because the guy, when I first bought the first bottle of champagne, was there on the table, pouring, 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 putting it in my hand, got my drunk, then I spent 16 grand on bottles. That's how they got my money. So if I open a club, I had to make sure when people first come in, they get fucking hammered. Nobody thinks about it that way. Nobody thinks, how did they get that out of me? Right? Why am I spending $2,000 for dinner in Novikov? Is it the food or is it the fact that I'm in Novikov and tag myself in Novikov? You, you have to identify how you're getting famoosed, how you're getting finessed. That's how you, that's, that's how you do it. But most people just walk through life, getting finessed left, right, and center, giving all their money up. <laughs> and like, oh, how did that happen? You got to learn to finesse other people. Yeah, but it's not finessing in a negative way. It's in a good it's, way. It, it's a good way. You have to take money from other people. That's the only way you're going to make money. Yeah. You have to take it. There's a, there's a pimp and he said a really intelligent line. He said, business is just other people's money. That's all business is. I want to start a business. So you want other people's money. <laughs> that's what you want. So how are they going to give it to you? You have to think about it. Nobody thinks about it. And the easiest way to think about it is to think how you're giving yours away. That's, that's, a, that's a mental model you should adopt. Yeah. And you'll end up with loads of business ideas. Businesses, business ideas are, are everywhere. It's just execution, which is difficult. Turn it off.